So, our adventurers found themselves on a boat, motherfucker. Um, and so we we left Rhyme Island with a small crew of goblin folk and our wizard guide. And we got on a boat. We started sailing, started sailing, felt a presence following us, and also saw a giant shadow in the water. Uh, we sailed away from there. Oh, no. Then we came across another ship. No, wait. Hold on a minute. <laughs> no. We found the ship first. Okay, so we came across um, a vessel that was kind of just listing lazily in the water. And there was a giant shadow underneath it. The ship looked pretty fucked up. We decided not to go near it and turned away from it. And while we were traveling away from the ship, we noticed the giant shadow that was under that ship started following us. And then some guy came out and tried to shake us down <laughs> for our items. I tried to steal a staff, but unfortunately the dice rolls didn't go my way. And then I tried to swing at him. And then unfortunately, once again, dice rolls did not go my way. And then turned I out we could just talk to him, and then he, nobody gave him anything of value. So Lone Star gave him a very rare magic carpet. I tried to use the wand against him and put him in a stinking cloud. Yeah, so nobody gave him wand. anything of, of importance. Lone Star <laughs> yeah. gave him his only means to fly. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He gave him the magic carpet. All right, Lone Star gave him a, a magic carpet. This shit's gone. Um, Sprock tried to put him in a poisonous glass cloud, and um, uh, gave him some rope and armor. Gave him some rope. Gave him some armor. Uh, none of which was enough. And yeah, it was one. It was not enough to pay tribute. It was not enough to pay tribute, and so he said that basically he'll be back, or not him, but the creature that we were supposed to be paying tribute to. Um, we then uh, in two weeks. We then decided to get the fuck off of the ocean. So we started sailing to the closest shore, which led us to a group who were racing water chariots. They challenged us. Lone Star found out the stakes. He was just like, no one could beat my champion, Aranus. Like the badass he is, gets into his chariot <laughs> and wins the race by killing the other guy. Nice. <laughs> At the end of that, oh, I forgot. I forgot what we won. We did win something. You got the whistle. The whistle, yeah. right? To for the that sea calls creatures. animals, right. sea creatures. So um, Lone Star get that gets that tosses it to Ironus. Uh, he tosses it around his neck, and then they leave. And then, wait, what did we? What happened right before we finished? You guys, um, oh, we reached. We reached an island. You saw an island. So, do you want me to? Do you want me to update those notes? Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I got this. I got this. I got this. We saw. We find an island, but it's moving. And we decide that we're not going to go on it because we don't know what it is. And then, and then I don't remember. <laughs> then I don't remember. Anymore. So oh. your your order of operations is a little off. Ah, fuck. No, it was, it was close. So we leave and we got hit by a storm that fucked us up with lightning. Oh, right. Lightning. Then we saw the ship that was going down by the Kraken and we saw it and said, let's get the hell out of here. From there, we ran into the Merfolk where you won, you won that race. Mm -hmm. And as you, right as you finished that, they said something's following you. That's when Captain Barbosa jumped on our boat and tried to shake us down. <laughs> said the master below, Arkara Tupla is the king below, demands the tribute. And we have three days before it comes after us. Some random fish people started to attack us. Um, we find a key. And we keep heading south and we run into a wall. And we find a door in that wall. And Jim Carrey. Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. you guys, you guys rolled this weird. Oh thing. right, right, yeah. right, 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 what a right. Fucking random, random event for you guys to roll. Where you guys, it was like, it was like the players are on a ship, and then the the ship runs into the sky. I forgot about that. And a door that says exit opens up with a stairwell leading to the ship. I totally forgot about that. Hilarious. And so you guys decided to climb in. Right. Um, and uh, Aaron's pretty good recap. Aaron, mm -hmm. you're going to roll me a 1d4. And on a 4, uh, something will be good. Well, they're all good. Oh, a d4, you said. Yeah, 1d4. Um, I'll tell you what happens. It landed on the other dice. Hello. Four. Wow. Four today. Yeah. Um, well, they, they vary throughout the week, throughout the month. One so, of yeah. your uh, uh, busy weekend. Not not uh, Well, yeah. for this coming up weekend, it would be uh, in a room oh, with uh, one king bed for two. Uh, people you two are going to have your choice or of uh, for like for uh, so, tomorrow night. It would be one forty nine. What's his name and Strike are going to stay on the ship? Everett. Um, so I feel like your boy here is going to come join you. Our boy. Yes. Um, I don't know what happened then, though. Oh, don't forget I have my bird. Send my bird with us. Yeah. He, he who will be dying soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> you already tried, motherfucker. All right. Um, okay. So you guys climb up, you come in. Um, you see a dead, there's like a dead blob of of meat sort of in the corner of the room. And Lone Star from his previous adventures um, remembers that it was an intellect devourer. And identify that that was a um intellect uh devour um from his previous you know happenings um, and give me a perception check uh actually you guys have free roam i'm trying to get you your bird what the fuck that thing is I'll weird. remind everyone um, who's here about intellect of ours and that they go inside of you. So be careful of, with them. Wait. Treple, RIP. <laughs> Treple, yo. Um, I want to make go your... pour myself a drink. Yeah, me too. I already have a drink. Uh, all right. So I made this, um, this dungeon. If you guys are having trouble, um, with the, uh, Chris, I know you're going to be fine, but if you guys are having trouble using the hero, um, fog of fog of war, you let me know. It's only for a short portion of it, but I wanted to keep it a little my mysterious. Uh, if you guys decide to leave, you can also leave. It's up to you. We're not leaving. Um, on a jet plane. Uh, Lone Star, give me a um, give me a perception. The option. Oh, that's I think decent. That is a fourteen. Um. Okay. The dungeon um shows signs of ruin. Um. Ruined walls. Um, there's more mold than stone in some of the corners. Uh, there's water dripping in a lot of the locations around the room. Um, and you can hear it sort of <laughs> cascading a little bit down the wall, sort of like a mossy path in, in the woods, if you've ever experienced that. Um, and then you hear sort of a little bit of movement um, ahead of you. 
Ar armor's on. I'm going to bonus action my uh, temp HP and say yell to everyone, get behind me. Um, I'm going to I get tell, tell uh, Robin to fly forward a bit using its flyby ability um, to uh, as an assist action when if it comes across anything and to return to me if it does so where so he's just going to go down the hallway sort of yeah all right which hallway is he going to go down um so let me unlock him can i can i select him oh, okay yeah. there we go so he's going to fly out this way oh, i don't want to go too far hold on a sec what's his movement um just put measurement on his let me ass. pull him, let me pull him up real quick so where is that intellect of hour in the room uh you just all you did was hear scraping well no where the uh that blob was that oh, we in, saw. in the corner in the corner over, over here okay yeah okay that's why i put the fences up so you can see the corner um Perfect. so he can fly 60 feet okay so he'll pop it. Oh, wait, are we in initiative right now? No. Okay, so. A random arrow goes flying out and kills your bird. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I am waiting for that. Not yet. Uh, he flies out. Uh, we're doing, we're still doing every square or are we doing every inch is five? Um, no, you do, you do uh, measurements, fine. Okay. And we might change it up if it doesn't. Yeah, but I think that's too much. All right, so he flies out 50 feet, circles back 10. All right, um, do I have to, now does he have a specific, does he have his own perception? Does he have his own or is it down So here? summons move directly at, before me, if I remember correctly, right? Right, we're not in initiative yet, but you're what you're doing is sending your scout out to take a look. Right. So right. I, th I think if he looks through the bird's eyes, right. he can use his own perception. But if it's the bird looking on its own, the bird has it does have its own perception separately. Okay. Aaron, describe what you're trying to do. Okay, so um, when he flies out the 50 feet, right? Yeah. Um, he's next to the stairwell. So I'm going to look through his eyes and see if I can see anything down the stairwell in front of it, you know, okay. this area over here. You um, give me a perception check. Ooh, that 19. Hold on a sec. I forget what my perception is. Um, plus eight, 27. Now, do you get to see? Do you feel? Do you taste? Do you the whole I, thing? I see. Okay. I think you see and hear. See and okay. hear. Right. So let me check. I'm in the got? I'm on the thing right. Um <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So you you look. I can additionally, as an action, you can see through your familiar's eyes and hear what it hears <laughs> until the start of my next turn. <coughs> um. All right. So if you're looking at my screen, the stairwell on the left is one. The one next to it is two, three, and four. Um. So you you go over there. You see four stairwells. Um, did you roll for perception? Uh, 27. You see the stairwells and you look down numbers one and three. Um, so that'll be the, I guess, east and northwest um, or west and northeast. Uh, and you see at the very bottom of the steps, which is a little bit um, out of your creeping towards in the shadows. Mm -hmm. You see a um, very oddly shaped brain um, and it's mounted to four sets of four, four legs. And it sees you, it's, it, ro it rolls around, it looks up, it sees you. All right. As soon as I see that I notice me, then 
it scurries away like a rat in the in a in a tunnel. Okay, I pop um Raven into a pocket dimension and then pop him back out next to me. <clears throat> and I take my senses back and I'm going to tell everyone there is a brain scuttering around a stairwell. <laughs> scuttering around the stairwell right here. So I'll like walk forward and oh my god. Oh my god. You're good. Oh my god. Oh, because even though it's flying, it's still like it's yeah. like it's on a stand. It's, a, it's not, annoying. Okay, got it. Um, so I'm gonna walk forward and I'm gonna because everybody all right. So Lone Star runs up, clinks his armor, tells everyone to get behind him. I send the bird out and then I walk up next to Lone Star. And I'm gonna be like, I think what made that noise is down here. It looked like a brain on legs. Uh, Lone Star's gonna walk over to the dead one in the corner, pick pick it up and say, Does it look like this? Holding it up in the air. Uh should I roll perception on whether or not I recognize that, Spencer? Yeah. Uh, nine plus eight, I think it was, right? Yeah, 17. The brain that Lone Star is holding up has a oddly shaped tattoo kind of, it's like not a tattoo, a, um, a burn into it, a, uh, a brand, brand. a brand. Um, it looks like, a, <laughs> it looks like an earth, it looks like a two circles um, and there's a half circle. So it's a, I'll draw it for you. Looks like that. Two circles. Where are you drawing this from? Oh, uh, we can't see them. Can't see that? No. I mean, it's okay. That's right. It's in the it looks, like, it looks like a the circle. Work. There's two circles, one circle's behind it. Okay. Um, and it's also tinted green. <clears throat> the one that you saw downstairs was tinted blue. Does anyone, is anyone familiar, can anyone do, who's medical? No one. Does anyone have any preacher handling? I guess Frock would. Yeah, I mean, I can like talk to animals and shit. Mm, I mean, it's a humanoid, but uh, you, you wouldn't recognize that. Uh, but your boy, uh, Sprock, roll me. Since you are the closest um, standing next to the guy who everyone missed, uh, roll me a d4. Four. Um, Daxon. Daxon Abidson has decided to join you. Daxon Abidson. So and I turn around and I go, ah, who's that? And I grab my sword and I go, are you friend or foe? He says, hey, guys. Uh, I'm going to be like, yo, you're getting predictable. Daxon says, hey, man, um, that dragon guy that had diarrhea this whole time, he had to come back to the ship and said that he's going to take my spot and watch the ship and make sure that weird shadow thing doesn't come and actually come up here and join you guys. That was a wise decision, Daxon. You're Stay welcome. behind me. I will. Um, you guys have free room. All right. Uh, Aaron, Aaron is show me where this uh, where this brain went. So yeah, I'm gonna well, we're gonna walk over carefully, observing our surroundings as we go. Um, and I'm gonna have uh, Raven kind of following behind us. Um, hold on a second. I'm trying to find my thing real quick um and yeah so we're gonna come over here and i'm gonna point down this hall you see me the blue head yeah. mm -hmm. that one i want number two yeah you're gonna that see the huh 
No, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, I was yeah, uh, number two. Yeah, number two. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm gonna look at him, and I I'm gonna look at Lone Star. And I'm like, you want to lead? You want me to lead? I I got this. You stay behind me. These things are fucking ridiculous. You see them, kill them. The brain? Um, yeah, the brains. If you see those brains, don't let them get close. Kill them as fast as you can. Okay. It one of those things jumped in my friend, and it killed him. Oh, Never shit. again. Never again. <laughs> and you're gonna well, see Lone Star tap sword. his chest and cast cure wounds on himself at the first level. Nice. <laughs> I need it. And I'll yell back to everyone else. All right. Line up. Let's go. Oh, nice. Six plus um, five. 13. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. No, six. Yeah, 11. Oh, I Much be... better. Oh, okay. Okay, so, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna save it. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. Um, I assume Daxon's coming up behind us. Yeah, yeah, Daxon's Daxon's there. Um, I'll let you guys play. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so what? Uh, Lone Star, you're going first. So actually, Spencer, um, I'm, yeah. I'm going to um pop uh Raven over here into a pocket okay. dimension, and I'll pop him back out when I need him. Okay. So you can So you can I, I assume I'm it's gonna put him I, over here. I assume it's dark in here right now, right? Yeah. Um I'll ask the group, does anyone have a torch or light or something? A dark I'd rather have as bright as a light as possible because we're not sneaking up on them. Yes. Hold on. I do. <laughs> Sweet. Cause I realize I have no adventuring gear whatsoever in my bag. <laughs> I have a candle. You have a candle? Yeah. It's going to be good. You know what you should do? You should light your bird on fire. <laughs> you should, you should have your bird carry around the candle. Actually, yeah. This, oh, huh. Wait, I thought I had a fucking like light spell oh i have a lantern there you go yeah I have your bird carry the lantern the all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna do exactly that i'm gonna pop raven back out uh, and i'm gonna have him hold my lantern okay it burns for six hours uh on one point of oil so i'll lose one of my pints of oil where are you going huh let me see. One second. Just have him, ha have him hover above me or right behind me. Weird. I don't want him hurt any more than you do. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll telepathically tell Raven to um, follow uh, Lone Star. We can just assume that uh, until initiative, we don't have to put Raven on the board because he's just going to be following. He's, he's basically his third person camera, if that makes sense, Spence. <laughs> that's great a bird on bird <laughs> yeah. um yeah okay so yeah i got rid of one of my flasks of oil and so yeah raymond's just trailing um, okay. uh, so 30 feet from him in front of one so, right 30 foot radius yeah Okay, so Lone Star, you can see 30 feet in front of you. It's a long corridor. Mm -hmm. um, there's really, it's just these uh, very, a lot of moss, a lot of water dripping down. Um, you can, it's, you get, there's a little small mist, uh, probably hum humidity. Um, but give me a, um give me a i guess give me a dex 
So she walked in there without giving me. I, I'm I'm not. I'm being perceptive for creatures coming at me. He wouldn't be looking for traps. Yeah. So if there's a trap, he would walk right into it. I think you just triggered it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So, Ernest, give me a dexterity uh, since you, uh, Chris, already on fails. Give me a dex save. Uh, Lone Star has blood in his eyes for uh, 25. 25. Um, which way are you jumping, forward or backward? Um, there is a. Do I have enough? Is, is that enough perception Chris, to like Chris triggers right Chris, me? Sorry, Chris, no. Chris has triggered a uh, plate in the floor, a pressure plate. And he was looking eagerly to find this creature that he mm -hmm. forgot to check his surroundings. And he hit a pressure plate and a uh, sort of get a gate is going to be coming crashing down um, it right in front of you. So I'm going to so yeah, you, uh, you can jump, jump back, jump back. All right. Oh, uh, Chris, you are uh, behind the cage. Behind you were so quick. Um, you just missed the cage. Um, and that's where you are. Yeah. Oh, he, he had blood less in his eyes through the intellect of our. Uh, oh, here, turn around, grab the, the cage, say, you know, to Aranus, find a way around. I'll, I'll meet you in the end. <clears throat> All right. Are you sure? Here, let me try. I'll try and lift it up. Try and pull this thing up as best I can. Does it move at all? Um, no. There's no. Okay. There's some sort of magic. Um, For, well, I'm weak as shit too, so I assume that wouldn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, being one. I have an eight strength. I am a small bird. Um. <laughs> Sprock, would you like to do anything? No, I'll just watch all these fools. Well, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell uh, Raven to, to stick with um, Lone Star so he can keep it. I'm like, don't worry, I can see in the dark. And then I'll just turn around and walk away and I'll just like, see you on the other side. All right, on a 10 or below, um, and we'll roll these here um, in this, I'm gonna take this D20 here. Drop it into this roll of die. Um, Daxon's either going to be cowardice or brave. 10, uh, 11 or above, he's brave. Where is this? Didn't work. Got, got dropped. And that's just like how you're going to play him? Um, yeah, I don't know if he's going to be, you yeah. know. We'll see. This might decide how he plays him. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah, that, so that brave. A natty? He's so gonna, brave. Yeah, he's so fucking brave. He's gonna come run. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's go. All right. Um you know, two is already taken. He's gonna go to one. Big daddy yo. He's gonna say, I got this. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, he's gonna run cool. down um <laughs> the stairs. He's <laughs> gonna be looking perception wise for any sort of trap. He is not uh, necessarily going to see anything that looks um, bad. Um, he sees a awkward looking uh, uh, pressure plate object and he jumps over it. And he says, hey, yo, um, there's a pressure plate over here um, that seems to be, oops, that seems to be uh, controlling some sort of uh, device. Which one has not gone down? This one over here? Yeah. All right, fuck it. We're just gonna separate and take each take a long hallway? Wow. I don't wow. know, I don't really wanna separate. Well, no, you guys can go behind Daxon. We can't go behind the, Daxon. He didn't trigger anything. 
Uh, my figure fell somewhere. Over here. Uh, yeah. I'm going to follow okay. up and go over that pressure plate. Um, okay. All right, let's go. I'll do the same. I'll hop over. Whoop. All right, now, Aaron, let's roll me um, a... Roll me a roll me okay. everyone roll me initiative. <clears throat> Gladly. Um yeah. Roll yeah. an eight. 20 I roll an eight. Twenty-one. Aranus gets an eight. Sprock, was that a natty twenty? No, nineteen. No. Uh, what did um Chris get? I got an eight, but I'm below Aranus. And then your boy. Daxon. Wow, 18. He's rolling nice. All right. Now, um, let's see. Number one. Number one. So IDs. They're going to get a 13. And then the Gs. We're going to get a 16, which doesn't make any. All right. Um, everyone next to Daxon sees two of these, actually three of these brains um, around each other, uh, right in front. And they're scurrying around and all of a sudden, like a dog, uh, they turn around um, and start to move towards you. And there are three of them. I got this other guy. His brain things? Yeah. Um, Lone, Star, Lone Star looks in front of him because he's in, he's in number two. Um, you feel a little flutter in the air. And, Deep in uh, you see this monster sort of floating down the whole corridor towards you. It is eyeless. Its wrinkled bulb of body resembles an exposed brain, grayish and pink and blubbery. <clears throat> From its front extends a hook, black beak like that of the velociraptor. And it has a nest of pink tentacles that dangles by its side. And it's slowly moving towards you. By its side? Uh, yeah. But like okay. down below, below it. It's, it's floating. Oh, OK, OK. All right. But how far out is that? Because I have I have 120 feet of dark vision, and then I have the 30 feet of light from Raven. There you go. He's right here. I got okay. Shot. Okay. Um. All right. And because Sprock went first, it is Sprock's turn. Or Sprock won the initiative. Because Brock has highest initiative. Yeah. These guys have already presented themselves as a threat, right? What did you say happened with their like pink tentacles start coming out? Uh, these guys in front of you are brains with dog legs. <laughs> um. They, from what uh, Lone Star has told you, are what they call intellect devourers. Um, that's that's it. That's all you know about them. I did tell you to kill them quickly. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'm going to... It's a narrow corridor. Yeah. And I'm behind these other two guys, but I can move in front of them, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you can move through your guys. 
All right. Well, I'm gonna move through my guys to the front of when they when they pop up. I'm gonna say to these guys, I'm like, hey, don't let them touch you. And I'm gonna thunder wave down this corridor towards them. Okay. That is dirty. It is dirty. That's how you do it. That's how that is how you do it. <clears throat> so, uh, Constitution saving sixteen, right? You take you you rolling Spencer. Yeah, what do I need to do? They, they need to take a con save. All right, pink of, of what? Sixteen is a success, and they on a save the creature takes two d eight on a failed save two d eight damage. Okay. Oh, but it's actually on level five. Fifth level thunder wave. Yeah. <sighs> When you cast the spell I'm using a spell slot of second level, five D8. The damage increases to the one d8 for each level above the first. So it's so five, five d8. Dirty, dirty. Okay, so pink gets a nineteen plus four on his. What is how you do it? That is how you do it. Uh, so he gets a twenty. Green. My baby gets a 14 and blue, come on, blue gets an 18. So blue and pink get a 20 and 18, respectively. Green fails. Hey, Siri, not you. Okay. All right. Actually, it's 68, Chris. Uh, 68. So, yeah, 33 for oh, the yes, failed one. and half for of that for each that didn't. So what happens? They 33 hit points to the one that failed the con save. And, and it gets flown 10 feet back. Yes, and 17 hit points to the two that succeeded the con save. Jeez. <laughs> okay. That is so nice upcasted. Yeah, but you're over there, though. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so... I think it blowed back. Describe, describe your kill of green. Well, he basically just like gets slammed so hard with this thunder wave that he basically just like rips apart and like splatters onto like both of the walls. And the other two are flown back, slamming against the walls as they do, taking 17 points of blunt bludgeoning damage. And they kind of like roll and tumble 15 feet down the corridor. They only move if they fail. Oh. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're right. Isn't pushed. Damn. Fine. Um, I just take a bunch of damage. Are there any unsecured objects in the area? No. Okay. Just about the, the the some moss rips off the walls and flies in that general direction. It so does. It here. does emit an audible boom that would be heard up to three hundred feet away in an, in a field. Wow. Okay. That's not good. That changes a lot of things. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> oh, as soon wow. as I see this happen, I immediately change my con my vision and and here. How far away are are, are is uh, Raven from me right now? If it's within a hundred feet. Oh, it's within a hundred feet. I fucking I change my ears and I I I um pop my perception into Raven. As soon as I see this thundercloud coming out, I'm like, fuck. And I <laughs> pop up my eyes and ears. And so I'm hearing and seeing everything that's going on with uh, Raven and Lone Star right now. What kind of noise comes out of it? A thunder. It's a thunder wave. It's fucking insane. A wave of thunderous force sweeps like out from you. Projected from you. Yes. Um, down, down the hallway and presumably probably continues down the hallway. Our it's in darkness. <laughs> Daxon, Daxon, who's a uh, no more than a basic pirate, um, is scared uh, shitless from your noise. But <laughs> it's his turn, but it's his turn, and riding high from getting down this hallway and, and rolling a, a twenty on his on, on his thing, he's going to take out a dagger and he's going to try to. Um, attack 
He's going to take his dagger out and he's going to try to attack the brain right in front of him, Mr. Pink. He's going to move over to him and he's going to attack him. And he has advantage. Uh, no, he doesn't because his other pirate guy isn't with him. Oh, uh, he has advantage because you're next to him. So, a what is this guy's thing? Um, Got it. Sorry, Stop. Does, not, does not hit him, and then that hits him. So he hits pink um, with an attack. Oh, where are you, baby? 1d4 plus 4. 6. He splatters this pink brain all over the floor, smashes it, kind of guts it. This brain uh, is shooting out. Um, the Grawl is going to go. Uh, or Grell, rather. Um, the Grell is going to move. And since he's hovering, he's going to move 30 feet. No problem. Come over to Lone Star. And mm -hmm. going to multi-attack. Uh, okay. One with its tentacle and one with its beak. The multi, okay. The multi attack um, is a 19. That misses. My AC is 20. Wow. Okay. Amazing. An attack with his beak. Um, which is a 19 as well. Wow. <laughs> Chances. Shield goes up and hits them both. Boom, boom. Yeah, bing, bang. Um, the Grell is not happy about this, but <laughs> it's not really the Grell that's not happy. It's, well, it'll be explained later. Um, <clears throat> that's not good. It is now the uh, Intellect of Hour's turn. Intellect of Hour is going to charge. Uh, Sprock. What? Hilarious. Well, he's being controlled by. Well, we we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, and Intellect Devourer is going to also do a multiple attack. Um. Wow. No, does D and sorry, it's a meta game. Does D and D have like instance that you can use where? Like, even though it's not your turn, if somebody's attacking you, you can, like, whip this thing out and do something. No, you can like, have I have an uncanny dodge where I can, like, have damage, but... You have, a, you have a reaction that you can use, but only certain actions are able to be used as a reaction. Sorry. All right, go back, Spencer. Um, he's going, since it's a narrow corridor, he's going to attack the pirate first. Um, he's going to make a claws attack and then use his other ability. It's a one attack, which is oh my god, natural 20. Ooh, 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 ooh. good. Okay. Or so Daxon. Does it 20? Yeah, does does Daxon poor Daxon's got only an armor class of 13? All right, that hits. So Daxon's gonna get uh 2d4 plus Four, so that's eight, uh, four D four plus two, right? So it's two two D four plus two. So he's going to get four D four plus two. So, yes. Uh, ooh, four, nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Gets eleven. <laughs> that is not looking good. Daxon's not looking good. Um, no, he's fine. Daxon's all right. Big D. Got, got to get some moves on. And then this intellect devourer, for those that are watching, is going to uh, look at this creature named Daxon, and he's going to have to... Daxon's going to have to make a DC save, uh, an intelligence saving throw. Um, give me a roll 
Let's do Jake. Jake, roll for Daxon. Daxon's yeah. rolling an intellect uh, saving throw. An intellect um, saving throw? Intellect, intellect devour is using devour intellect on Daxon. And so intelligence throw? Yeah, his intelligence is a plus zero, so it's just a normal straight up D. Oh, natty fucking 20. Wow. Nice. That's how you fucking do it. So this brain... That was so important. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you see that? If that's public role, right? Public role. Yeah. Yeah. So he uses his magic, um, and he tries to use Devour Intellect and stun um, the pirate. And instead, because you rolled a natural 20, um, he is supposed to take uh, damage. Um, if the uh, fail, roll a 3d6. If the total equals or exceeds the intellect score, the score is reduced to zero. He's going to, because you rolled a, a natural 20 for Daxon, he's not going to have any of that excess damage. So he is unstunned. That was huge. Yeah. Um, it is now Aaron's turn. Um, destroy. Destroy the bread. Destroy the brain is, is right. I mean, I'm just... So, um, what is the condition of the um, brain creature fighting Lone Star right now? What am I looking at through uh, Raven's eyes? Um, are you are you with? Because these are supposed to be like hallways. No, I know, but Raven, Raven is still with Lone Raven. Star. Oh, um, he has my my uh, sight and hearing right now. Okay, so when you go back to your character, are you like sort of like this, like? Are you? Do you know where? Like, are your eyes rolled in the back of your head, like it, like Game of Thrones? Yes. 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 Okay. Specifically that. I'm warning. Oh, okay, so I should have attacked you. Um, <laughs> so That's why I'm in the back. <laughs> you see um, that the brain is floating there. He hasn't uh, received a hit or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and he's attacking Lone Star. That's all you know. But it's a floating. Um, brain object got you got you okay hold on one second how high up is he floating um it's not it, this this is like a i would say it's like, like a hover it's like a 10, yeah, it's a hover. It's a 10 foot corridor. So he's just hovering. Okay. okay so I'm going to have, um, <laughs> I'm going to have uh, Raven. You can give me Raven now. You can give me Raven. <laughs> okay. Where, where is he? He would be like right behind Lone Star. Well, he died. Um, here, I'm just going to clone you. Well, here, I'll just, I'll tell you what's going to happen. What I'm, what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Oh, here. Oh, yeah. You can just make another name. That's fine too. Um, okay. So he's got a 60 foot range. Oh, hold on a sec. He's gonna fly over. Boom. And I'm going to um, have Raven. Oh, sit. I'm gonna have Raven use uh, shocking grasp on the brain in front of Lone Star. Um, so I'm gonna have him fly forward half his movement, use shocking grasp, and then I'm gonna have him fly back. But um fifteen. Uh what does he have to uh does fifteen hit? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So now he takes two D eight lightning damage. So he takes ten damage. Um, okay, uh, you have advantage on the attack if the target is wearing a metal or armor. No, on a hit, the target takes this is oh, it's 2d8 damage, and it can't, uh, so he can't take reactions until the start of its next turn, and that's it. 
So he takes 10 damage and he can't take, he can't use reactions until the start of his next turn. Then yeah. um, okay. uh, Raven's going to fly back behind Lone Star. Um, and I'm going to pop my consciousness back into myself. And I'm going to say, good luck, cool friend. <laughs> and that's my end of my turn. Okay, Chris. Lone Star will uh, do a little visor flip, a little visor tilt to to Raven, knowing what he's done, because he's seen Aranus do that same spell so many times. He's going to laugh at that brain, saying, this is going to be fun. And I'm going to cast Booming Blade on my gauntlet and swing at him. Fuck yes. Make an attack. Fuck yes. I love this spell. I love that spell. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, yeah, that's that's a, a seven, no, a ten to hit. That's no good. Yeah, misses. Okay, that's my turn. Oh <laughs> uh, no, not my turn. But that's my attack or my action. Where's tabletop? That's my action, and then since it can't take a reaction i'm going to try and run push past it i'm a little bird and it's hovering and run my full distance which is 30 feet which is six turn around and yell come at me bitch um i'm just double checking bonus actions okay i think that's it yeah that's it Okay, um, your perception check will allow you to see that um, you are uh, in this room. There's a room right there. Yeah, there's a room, yeah, there's a, a room opening, sort of an opening for you. Okay. Um, and I can't figure out how to get the thing, so we'll move on. Uh, Sprock, there's one more bad guy. It's your turn. Well, I think I'm just going to do a little old-fashioned attack this time. Maybe a little, uh, short bow action. Okay. 18. That hits. Seven piercing. Wow. Uh, describe your kill. Oh, uh, basically, uh, pull out my little short bow there, take it, aim, shoot, and arrow goes basically right through this brain, and and just there's a massive hole in it, and just like kind of slumps over. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, Not as exciting as the loud thunder. Uh, you have movement left. Yeah, I'm going to not move and instead heal myself with a cure wound. Okay. Um, Daxon's going to say, move on, let's move forward, slowly, creepily moving forward. And he's going to look around. And he's going to roll a perception check of a 14. And he's going to say, hey, guys, there is a, uh, not only is there the dead splattered uh, intellect devourer that you shot and it hit a wall over here. Um, he's, he's also going to say, hey, guys, uh, there's a chest over here. Um, it's sort of like a little room. Um, guys, there's something over here. And I don't think he has enough movement to get to the chest. Um, and it's now oh, the Grell's turn. So this guy is not incapacitated. He just can't do reactions. Well, he can't do a reaction. He can do it now, but until his next turn, he couldn't take a reaction. All right. So every so there's no restrictions on him right now. Yeah. Okay. He's going to attack twice again. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to attack with uh, one of his tentacles. Okay. 
Oh, that is a, uh, sorry, an 11 that misses. And he's going to attack with his beak. Come on, baby. Do some, do some damage. Jesus Christ. 12. Nope. That's why a wizard can be a tank. <laughs> or how? <laughs> <laughs> um it's uh intellect of hours dead it's Aaron's turn all right um <clears throat> uh I am going to uh cautiously step forward for Oh wait, what is my movement right now? Is it only 30? Yeah. Oh, no boots? No boots. No boots. Um, yeah, because I got <laughs> I got fun stuff on. Um yeah. What's it called? I'm gonna move into here, I guess, and then um I'm gonna use Mage Hand to open this chest. Um, now, is that just open it, or do you have to? It's uh, it's locked. Okay, then I'm gonna. It has. Well, I guess that's. Right, you, so I try to open it, and it's locked. Give me an investigation check. So 24. Um, you can see around the, the chest that there's movement on the floor. Uh, very, It's hard to see, but there's movement on the floor. You don't see any footsteps. But you do see paw prints and movement. But you're not a hunter per se, which is why Matt would have been great. Um, so you don't know what sort of creature was there. Um, but I assume you, it was these brain things. Do you um, see that the uh, lock seems to be um, you know, a lock. Generic lock. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll give my mage hand thieves, uh, thieves tools to go pick it, but is that another action? Like, Yeah, you'll have to do that next time. Yeah. Unless you want to give that to Chris to do, but he's in the other room. Uh, I can't. Yeah, Chris, you're you're up. So he's gonna turn, see that brain coming at me, and just laugh in his in his brain face, <laughs> and uh, just punch him twice normally. I used a different die last time, and I got a two. So first one is a dirty twenty, and I'm gonna hit him twice. I'll roll both. The second one is a thirteen. <laughs> does the 13 hit? A 13 does hit. All right, so they both hit. Damage for the first one is 10 thunder damage. Okay. Second one is 12 thunder damage. Wow. And all of its attacks against me, let me just verify, are at disadvantage until the start of my next turn. Chris, give me a, um, well, actually, everyone in the room is, everyone is going to hear at the same time this loud noise, and it is the um, sound of the, Chris, give me, oh, you, can see, you can see it, the, um, the gate that crashed down um, behind you. Well, is, is Raven still there? there? Uh, is being lifted. No, Raven went back to Aaron's. Okay. And you're going to... No, Raven is oh. still there. I just popped my consciousness. I popped my eyes and hearing back. So Raven is still okay. there. With the lantern. With the lantern. Right by that port. Yeah, yeah so right by that thing. Then, so I'd be able yeah, to see should, it. Yeah. So then you see this... Um, you see the brain sort of turn, uh, move back a little bit. Um, but you hear... All of you hear this... Uh, voice in your head um 
and it says, welcome, Lone Star, I remember you not too long ago. And um, it's, he's going to say, looks like my little minions were not enough for you. Um, the brain is actually just going to stay there in front of you. He's going to say, Let's see what you have for me now. Do I recognize the voice? Um, yes. As the elder brain voice? Yes. But this clearly does not look like the elder brain. No, that's not the elder. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, what you're looking at is sort of like a floating intellect devourer with tentacles. Uh, oh, so about that same size. Yeah, same size. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was much bigger. No. Never mind. I just couldn't find a growl for some reason. <laughs> Perfect. Um, the growl seems to be motionless in front of you. Okay. And it is Sprock's turn. Sprocky Sprock. You heard that noise too, but you don't know who that was because you've never heard him. You did hear him say, let's uh, about the Lone Star thing, though. All right. Well, I'm still going to go oh. forward. I just looked up a growl and that thing's ridiculous. Mm hmm. That horrible <laughs> rolls, though. They should write a. Uh, they should write a little note at the bottom. If you have bad rolls, he's going to die. Did he already yeah. open his chest? No. I'm it's open. locked. It's got a lock on it. Yeah. I think you have tools, though, don't you? It's, yeah. Where are you, baby? What's your adventure pack? Bonus actions. I, I started to put this uh, thing together where I can just click on everything. It's great. Um, backpack. You do not have anything useful, it looks like. No, you, wouldn't, you, can, you, can try, you can certainly try to open it, though, for sure. You guys have free room, so it's not, you know, what to do. Oh, oh I, do, I do have a crowbar and a hammer. Let's go. All right, I'm going. I'm putting the crowbar on it. I'm taking out my hammer and I'm giving it a big whack at the lock a couple of times. We got a roll here. Give me a strength check. Strength sucks. Five. You got a five? I got a five. The noise is just like a ping pong. All right, I try again. You can do it again. I have another fucking five. Ping pong. <laughs> All right, one more time. Uh, the, uh, time. Jackson, time. Jackson is going to look back at uh, Aranus and be like, yo. I'm I'm just letting him wear himself out. Yeah, yo. Uh, All right, I got a 10 this time. 10? <laughs> No. That, that's All right, that's it. I put the I fucking slam that shit down. I'm angry. I'm like, fuck this stuff. Daxon says, uh, does anyone have a sharp object? I have a dagger I can try to use to I send I take out my thieves tools, I hand it to my mage hand, and I'm just and I send my mage hand over to the lock. All right, right before you do that, Chris. Um, yep. you give me a investigation check real quick and it's going to be okay. an advantage, to advantage because uh, you know, you're heightened your heightened sense because uh, you have this guy that's been trying to attack you you just heard a noise in your head reminding you of the Inve other investigation mm -hmm. dirty 20 you see that this uh, brain is hovering it's its tentacles are flat. It's not even for your purposes. It doesn't even look like if it were to breathe, it's not even breathing. It's just hovering, dead. Okay. Um, so, so it looks dead, but hovering. Dead, it's tired. Motionless. It's motionless. It stinks. Okay. Okay. Is it, is it Lone Star's turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. He's going to is. But this thing Raven, looks Raven would be trailing. So we're out of initiative well, now, but Raven would yeah, just, just be trailing. He's, he's got, a, he's, he's, he's got a, a brain in front of him. So, okay. give him so I, yeah, I wouldn't trust this thing, so I'd give it two more punches. 
Would they be at advantage since it looks uncompass? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's a one T two and a an eighteen. They both hit four. Uh, 13 thunder and 8 thunder, so 21 thunder damage total. Describe your kill. I'm going to well, instead of punch, I'm just going to grab one beak with one hand, grab the other beak with the other, and just tear it in half. Nice. So it just Brain, rips the face open. Brain guts splatter all over the place. Yep. Fuck these brains. Um... Okay, so I will allow free roam every now and then. I'll just go back and forth between um, Chris and the group. Uh, Ernest, it's your turn. You're you're about to do what you do best, baby. That's it. I'm gonna. Uh, wait. I, mean, I don't chest. think I've seen you pick a lock yet, which is great. I picked locks. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, wow. he did back in the day. Went with the treasure chest. Yeah, I'll run away. Locks. Yeah, okay. lock with the best of them. Mm -hmm. Um, do you want me to use a sleight of hand? Yeah. Uh, 19. Okay. It pops open. Um, so I look in. Yeah. Look Inside this thing, you do not have to do an investigation check. Inside this thing are memoirs, books, papers. Um, you can't. I take an. I take a knee and I go. Yes, the best kind of treasure. Yeah, information. You can't, you can't make out anything on it because it's written in a language that you don't understand. Okay. How um, many of these books and ledgers are there? But you do recognize that there is a uh, that same logo towards when you shuffle them through these, why don't you give me an investigation? Ooh, that's not good. Uh, oh, 10. You get, you're shuffling through this thing and you see a long list of, of uh, a long list and our uh, lines are crossed through it and you see the logo of the <laughs> brand from the brain that you saw, um, and there are lines crossed through it. There's like a logo of the of all the, right. So I'll take you know, I'll take this specific document, fold it, and put it into my pocket. Mm -hmm. But then I'm gonna look to see if there are any other books that look um, that have the same logo. Right now that I know that there was something in there with that logo, I'm looking through, I'm just like shuffling through the pages and uh, seeing if there's anything else of interest in there. Give me a uh, perception of my normal rule. Uh, 15 plus eight, right? So 23. Um, there's a binder. No, there's like a folder. And on that folder, um, there is a image of what you can tell and what anyone else can tell because they're all humanoids is an image of the earth and an image of the moon. Okay. And can I, I can't and decide on anything more, anymore. Yeah, more. Um, okay. So I take that folder and I throw it into my backpack. Yeah. Um, hold on one sec. So it's a folder that has a picture of the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And like inside the folder are pages. I just don't know what they say. Yeah, you don't not not yet, maybe. Got it. Or not, if you want to turn around, not ever. <laughs> Guys, I've had it. Um, <laughs> um all right, cool. And then uh, the other thing was because oh, yeah. I'm just want to yeah, make sure I get these items in before I forget. Uh, come on, D and D Beyond. Oh, uh, what? I get a check for heading to town to visit the blacksmith for repairs. Fuck that. Give me my character sheet. Uh, D and D you broke D and D Beyond. I did. I broke it. I broke it. What are you <laughs> trying to look for? Um, no, I was just trying to, it just, 
Yeah, I got you. I totally just crashed on me. Where are you looking for? I got you. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm not looking for anything. I'm just trying to get on right now. Hold on All second. right, Daxon is going to say, "Come on, my friends, let's push forward. Get out of my way." Sprint. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna, right, so go ahead. My whole shit just like froze. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think D and D Beyond just crashed. Like I literally think it. Oh, you think tabletop has crashed? No. Um. No. Tabletop's fine. I don't know. I'm, I think my shit's independent. I think it's because y'all are in New York. Yeah, me too. Uh, with that said, um, Daxon's going down a hallway. Uh, he is not paying attention. Uh, who's going to roll for Daxon's uh, perception check while he walks down his hallway? What's his perception? Um, his perception is a pirate, which is uh, probably, it should probably be fairly good. Um, uh, no, nope. right. he's got a plus zero. Uh, okay, 14. He oh, sees oh, another, oh. um, another plate and he says, Hey guys, there's another plate right in front of me, but it's a rather large plate. I'm not sure if I can make that jump. Um, Lone Star, you're up. I'll yell to Raven, come on, let's go. And I'll uh, turn and walk into this room. Do I see that chest? You do see a chest. I'll uh, cautiously walk around the room, making sure I check for traps. Is this chest locked as well? Um, you see what they saw. You see that there's footprints and movement around the, on the floor you it is it is also locked yes i'm just gonna keep punching it punching at the lock until it breaks give me a uh strength with advantage just a plain strength check okay mm, that's an eight that, that does not do anything. Yep. I'll, I'll hit it again. That's an 18. The lock pops off. And you open this thing, or it sort of opens itself. Oh, I'll kick and, it open. Um, you see in it um, a different... You see in it papers... Um, and you see a logo that you you see a logo on it um, that is just two circles like this. Same two circles. No, this is different. Oh, so circle in a circle. Yeah, circle in a circle. And what did the other one look like? Sorry, the, I didn't, other one, I didn't... the other one looked like a circle behind the circle, sort of like. The thing. No. These are the two. These are the two. Oh, ones. okay. Okay. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Okay. Um. And if you were to check and look through it, you wouldn't really yeah recognize it. But you can you can give me a uh, investigation. I mean, if you get a nice score, you might recognize something. A nineteen. Wow, you're a piece of shit. Um, I'm an I'm an in base character. It's a plus five to my investigation. So, you see on it that there is a scribbling that you can identify as being related to the piece of parchment that Aranus has that came from uh, what's his fucking Plaskin when he exited the time travel room that had on it a spell with regards to time travel. So I, so what is it that has that relation? Another so, note? So Spro so Plaskin came out of that time travel and yeah. he died. And he was like, with hey, piece guys, of paper. I found this, I found this, uh, this, this spell scroll um, mm -hmm. with regards to time. And on it, it shows you how to cast that. Um, on that piece of paper that you're holding, it has a similar um, 
that has similar writing on it. Um, it makes you feel as if this particular piece of parchment, though you can't read it, relates to time travel in some sense. That's your 19. Okay, I'll take that paper and shove it into my bag of holding. Sprock. Yeah. What are you doing? Your friend Daxon down the hall down the hallway has said, Hey, I saw a pressure plate. What do I do? Don't step on it. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to restart like the program. That's okay. You can still play. Um, you, uh, are, so you are at the end. You are at the end of the hallway. I'll move your yeah. Game. So, so they're still in front of me. Yeah. So move up to them. Okay. So you're moving up to Daxon. There's a pressure plate. Uh, give me a perception check. I don't know. My perception's like plus seven. So eighteen. Douchebag. Um, you see a very similar uh, looking wall. Um, that came sim very similar to the one that came down and divided you, your group, and Lone Star. Okay. Uh, well, don't want to divide. So, is there a way to cross without triggering the plate? Um. Yeah, I mean, you can jump. You can try to jump. Good luck. Yeah, no. Ten foot jump. You can. You might be able to make it. Where's Ernest? Ernest is still behind me. Yeah. Sprock, what's your strength? Ernest, come over here. And and what what's the guy's name in front of me? What's his name? The um, um, Daxon. Daxon. That no one cares about. The <laughs> Daxon with the uh, you know. Lone Star cared about him and told him to get behind him. It's true. Okay. Well, we want to cross, right, Aranis? Yeah. All right. I'm going to touch Aranis, and the two of us, uh, using Gash's form, transform into, uh, with everything we're wearing and carrying, into a misty cloud for the duration of the spell and, and our creature, unless we die. So uh, you guys turn into a Gash's form? Yeah. What about Daxon? Well, uh, it looks like I can only do it to like one person I touch. Maybe I could do it to both. It doesn't specify. Well, NPCs are there to die. So okay. <laughs> that's that's hilarious. So you guys No, so our method of movement go. is flying speed at 10 feet. It can enter and occupy the space of another creature. The target has resistance to non-magical damage, and it has advantage on strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws. Target can pass through small holes, narrow openings, and even more cracks. Uh, through it treats liquids as though they were solid surfaces. The target can't fall and remains hovering in the air even when stunned or otherwise incapacitated. So this oh. requires concentration, and all you need to do is co keep concentrated on it. Yeah, up to one hour. Wow. Okay, so so you and well, whatever we are can't be dropped or held or picked up or anything. So like we're basically Dave, a gas form. You get a inspiration for this. <laughs> Very right. good. Very good. We're going to float across this trapdoor. All right, so you turn into a gaseous form, <laughs> and, and you float. And Daxon's sort of like, "What the fuck, man?" Um, I'm taking Aaron is with me, obviously. Yeah. Um, da, 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 da. <laughs> and when you get to the other side, um, there is a. Da, 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 where? How do I do this here? There is a wall, sort of gate, gate in front of you. Um, very similar, same sort of wall that you were looking at. Um, very similar to what you were looking at uh, from when you couldn't get in, or when you got divided, rather. There's something stopping you from. But we're if we're a gas, can we not go through the bars? 
No, it's it's, pass through. it's it's a magical. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Lone Star, you're up. You can just say if you need that a magic lock as arcane lock. It's a magic pass wall. Um, is there another door? I'm gonna look around and see if I see any other exit. You uh, can look down this hallway and you see that you enter. Um, give me a give me a perception check. A ten. Um, there is a drop in front of you. Okay. That's it. Okay. Where, where the fuck am I? Okay. There's a drop. You can see that the that you enter. The floor goes down. The floor goes down, and you can also see that there is um, a drop in front of you. But you can also see that there's a room opening up um, in front of you. Okay, so I'll go forward as far as I can before going to the drop. Or am I right at the edge of the drop? Uh, you have to, yeah, you you have to drop down. It's about five feet. So. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'll just jump down. I thought like past mm -hmm. here was a ledge to nothingness. You immediately trigger a a trap. Mm -hmm. Um. However, that trigger opens a door. Um. And you are reunited with your friends. However. Um, let's just make this easier for everyone to see. Hey, buddy. Um, the trap is a uh, mm, four intellect devourers drop from the drop from the ceiling. Where the fuck are they? Oh, I deleted them. Shoot. Hold on, baby. Ooh. I was looking up. Uh, they had creature summons traps, which are pretty cool. But that's nice. That's not an intellect devourer, but it might as well be. Um, okay. One. Boom, boom, boom. And roll initiative, everyone. Sixteen. Uh, twenty-three. Hold on. All right. So, Aaron has got twenty-three. We go one, two, three, and four, and they're all different ones. Seventeen. Nine. I got five. Horrible. Five. And 16. All right. 23 is Aranus. Who got next? I got a 16. ID one goes first. It's then uh then Chris with the 16. Then ID four goes with the 16. Then who got who's uh Chris? What'd you get? I mean uh Jake, what'd you get? Jake, you got a five, didn't you? Yes, my shit was shit. Well, ID three goes next. Oh, and Daxon. Daxon got a 19, baby. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Rolling off of that nat 20. He's so yeah, fucking brave. Feels brave as fuck. And he's going to jump me. over that trap and not trigger it. ID four got a five as well. Uh, Jake, roll off for... Um, for yeah, ID four is going to go first, and mm -hmm. then J. Okay, uh, Aaron's, you're staring at four intellect devourers in front of you. Why can't this? Why won't he stay? Uh, they're right in front of you. There you go. Um. So.
All right, I think <clears throat> um, red. Wow, angelic so, powers go three in a row. Good luck. Guys. Actually, uh, pop. Give me, give me um another token for um Raven. Wow. 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 But he's over. He's over by Lone Star. He is over by Lone Star. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to make you him because it's too confusing. Yeah, yeah, you can just make me a thing like we did before. Just make it a color. Boom. Mark it an eight. Wow, you keep falling off because you suck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait, did he, did he fall off? Or did he just like... I don't even know where. I didn't see him. Yeah, wow. Well. I think we might be crashing soon, guys. Let's hold on. Think positively. Oh, there he is. Look, he's fine. Yeah, he's a, huge. Yeah. He was just getting drunk. Fucking huge, man. Hold on, New York City. The bandwidth. You can do this. Right. <laughs> we can take the bandwidth. All right. So um, I'm going to tell i'm gonna telepathically tell raven to um assist to use a help action for with lone star so he's gonna use his like flyby um to like distract the pink brain um id one i call him before lone star attacks okay um and that's that's all i'm gonna do to to uh for him for his turn so he's like <laughs> so you are giving lone star an advantage right on one attack a one attack correct yep okay um and now my turn i'm going to unsling my bow and over sprock's shoulder <laughs> shoot at uh this red brain directly in front of me okay um id nine let's go baby let's go uh, id nine <laughs> yeah intellect devour oh, i'm sorry intellect devour three uh, he just had a <laughs> nine <laughs> it's like we have nine of these if i wanted to, i was trying to do the math today and you know how i am with math I was like, if I wonder how many intellective hours I could put in to just kill everyone. And two didn't work. So now we're at four. 18. Or um, do I have that, advantage on this attack because I'm, he doesn't see it coming? That hits. Do I have advantage on this attack because he doesn't see it coming? Yes. All right. Actually, uh, no, because it was a trick or trap. Oh. You, yeah, you, he, he knows. Okay. So then, eighteen. In fact, they're all uh, every every being in in this entire area is aware of what is happening. Okay. Yeah. You don't you don't know that though. All right. So I hit him for nine. You've seen uh, Starship Troopers, but Lone yeah. Star knows. <laughs> I hit him for nine damage. Um. Ow. Okay. Not good. Not bad though. I did three. For nine, yeah, damn. Why you gotta do that? I'm telling you, okay. Um, oh, that junk. I that th um, I'm sorry, oh, yeah, go ahead. So you shot him, yeah. Um, Your boy Daxon cannot wait to have a turn in this fight. So I'm gonna turn invisible. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, if only they could read minds. Um, <laughs> okay, so your boy Daxon wants to get in there. 
Who's going to roll for his athletic jump? I mean, what's his, what's his, I'm close to my, hold on, hold on one second, hold on one second. Uh, you're still a gaseous form. So take all that shit back, except for the, the, like, oh, oh uh, Jake, did you release the gaseous form? Are you now solid? Can't hear you. I guess I should, since we're on the other side of the thing. What do you think? Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. So, yeah, take all of that back. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize what you was are, you, are, you guys are gaseous forms. You guys can, you have the option of performing like a gas. Um, so that's interesting. Well, then I'm not going to do anything. And I'm going to, I don't, I can't communicate as a gas. Can I, can I like tell Jake to, can I tell Sprock to like, yeah, Jake, what is your gas hole? say again? What? I, uh, yeah, I he well, I mean, yeah, I I can yes, we're no longer a gaseous form now that we're over the thing. Well, I'm, I'm just just stay a gaseous form and just let Lone Star just you know wreck everything. Maybe. Um, okay, so I mean, that, yeah, we'll, we'll come you guys out. We'll are no longer gaseous forms. That <laughs> happened, and Daxon is going to try an athletic maneuver to jump over this pressure plate. He got a two. And you got to go for All right, so Jackson says, I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. And he runs. Trips. And he doesn't even jump. He just steps right onto the, onto the pressure plate. And he's like, <laughs> Over the oh. line. And he says, fuck. Um, everyone hears the exact same noise. I'll be a, back in a second. Of a wall opening, of a door opening, similar to the one that you just saw um if like the walls that evaporated uh, in front of your face yeah something like that that same exact noise yeah. happened but somewhere else in the, in the dungeon yeah. under what name well, that's not good no okay no. i have it here I'm not gonna try. um here here's now id one's I an id and a credit card id one is pink and he's going to go straight for one star yes wow and he uh misses but he is going to be um, using both his attack and his um, other thing, but since he is not- The room is already paid for, but if you um, take a $100 will, deposit, that is refunded when you check out. Wait for Chris to get deposit. back to devour some intelligence. Um, it is now, oh, that's now Chris's turn. So we're stuck here. Yo, Harry just sent me a picture, Jughead. He's playing uh, poker on uh, Zoom with uh, uh, with Jughead Spencer, yeah. and Jughead shaved. Really? Can you send <laughs> it to me, please? I've never seen that. <laughs> he has no facial hair? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Wow. Or very little. Have you in a room with one king bed for two nights, correct? Yeah. Wait, whose turn is it? Um, it's Chris's turn, but we'll wait. Oh, okay. All right. I know, no, no, uh, we'll, 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 these guys are like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Remember the back of the car, vehicle? Jake. It's not, it's not really a good picture because you can't see that there's no chin hair right now. Okay, Jake, I did. I did the map. Yeah, and it's fucking sick. It's unbelievable. They have like, um, they have like big, like they have big uh, stickers that look about the size of an apple that you put on the on the map that has, that has like seven scenarios on. Next one, there's no animals or cooking. Uh, that's a, that's just the one that I put down. I didn't put the number of people, just the two of you are registered for the room. Oh wow, here we go. Next section here, you're agreeing to follow the hotel policy. And as a short statement, you're secure. You wouldn't mind reading and initialing each of those lines of terms and statements. 
Is Chris checking people in right now? You think? Why is he wearing a Kansas City hat? He's from Kansas City. Really? He's a fucking Royals fan? Wow. Yeah. And a Chiefs fan. Yeah. He lives in Albuquerque now. He looks like a dude I knew. Is he uh, dating anyone? No, but you know he has two kids. Really? Well, he has, yeah. One, I was one gonna is, say there's 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 photo there's like hanging stuff on the fridge. I don't know if that's his. Have you guys in room? Yeah, he has two kids. Uh, and we're right here in the office. He like now. became an instant dad with, with this girl who he was dating when around, he was pregnant. The 108 on the ground floor. Uh, and so then she had the, the baby, property is set and up he right like now. started so raising the kid back. with her, yeah. and then had another kid with her. Yeah, so if you're going uh, towards your room, and then like the everything was, fell apart, like right out that back pandemic, out there, so and, and they were like going so in the court. This is not technically our property. Custody battles, battles and shit. Really? really, they got divorced. They never uh, were married. Our other parking area, as if you continue down US one, right behind yeah. that building. So what what the happens with the kids? See a large parking area. Well, Basically, she's like fucking crazy, like crazier than Jughead. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, and uh, um, she's like when she left and she took the two kids, uh, one of them being his biological, like kid daughter. She moved back to her parents' house, which was like four doors down the block. From Jughead's house. Do you have any other questions that you think? And of? like doesn't have a job and has never like been able to hold down anything. And basically like finally won a bunch of shit in court and now like has shared custody of his daughter and visitation rights with the other one. Um uh, and it's, uh, I don't know. It's like a fucking huge mess. That's crazy. Um, and he like, yeah. But but he's doing okay. Otherwise, I think he was. I was going through the restaurant um, menus in my head really quickly. Uh, a little, uh, there was a couple that had let's do Doc's weed business called uh, like, yeah, like 15 years Yo, ago. Mute, mute Chris. Um, you there's mute a couple Chris. Of really good restaurants nearby. Um, I don't feel like exactly he, was like, figment, sure he was like a figment of my imagination. Oh, mute Chris. Yeah, no, you can like click on, yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, no, so he um. Was working for uh, whatever the company is that uh, Snoop Dogg's weed business that like does all the financial transactions and shit they were breaking into. I don't know, but then he got laid off, I think, like a couple months ago. So I don't know what he's doing now. But he plays poker with a group of people um, that I introduced him to, who were like drama majors and people who lived in Astoria. That now all play online on Monday nights, and Harry plays with them, and Jughead plays with them sometimes. Rebeans playing with them tonight. <laughs> what about the bird? Where, where's the bird? Oh, so the bird. Uh, actually, I am going to go to dinner with him uh, later this week. I need to like text him because. Yeah. When are you going yeah, to dinner? I don't know. I haven't decided. I was thinking maybe like Thursday night um, or Friday night somewhere here in the city. You want to go? I have an event on Friday night, but I'm sure I can go afterwards and meet up with you guys. Yeah, so basically he's been down south with his mom because she's been like going through like chemo and cancer yeah. treatment. Um, and he just came back up, but I hired him to be our payroll company for Dragon Lily. And I've been doing like a bunch of shit with him. He's also like my insurance broker. <laughs> it's got to fight. <laughs> Yeah, the last time I saw him it was like years ago. But he, he, he uh, no falling out. He just, you know, lost touch. Yeah, look, um, like he Bird was is like, a special he was, character. He was like all over me for Fred Smith Plumbing Insurance. I was like, you need to go pitch that. You know what? I was like, I was like, you pitch yourself to Preston. If he digs what you're you're throwing down, then we can go. Right, right. Did he ever? No. Uh, no. Oh, uh, Chris, you muted. Yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to mute myself. Yeah, it's okay. He's done a he's done a good amount of uh, like fucking expansion on that building that business. I'm sure he's doing very well. Anyway, um, Chris, 
Yes. You need to roll a. Oh, oh, wait. Hold on. We'll tell Chris before we go into it that I just sent Spencer a picture of Jughead who who like shaved everything off of his face. <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to send that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try he, looks like, he looks like you remember what the fuck was his name fuck uh when i was a freshman he was a senior he fuck what was his name describe him uh douchebag top top floor right when you got the top uh that was his he's very tall very good at beer pong. Um, he tweeted he dated. I don't think he dated any. I think he got laid. I think he got laid in the house. I think he was ladies, man. Paul, like a senior? Yeah, he was a he would have been a senior when I was a freshman. So he would have been you were a junior. So not the best was, picture. He, he was a he was a class above you. Not the best picture, but I'll try and get a better one later. Right? He was a, he was he was actually like he he had he persona he put off like he was a douchebag. He's actually really I just, nice I just sent what, it to you. Chris. What um oh fuck what's his name? Short short uh he was all about buggy uh short short uh short brown hair tall skinny guy not tall skinny but he was tall yeah a tall guy all about buggy a year older than me yeah there weren't many. Sorry. I don't know. What butters? Yeah, when I see his face, he has a couple kids. When I see his face, I'll send I'll send it to you. All right. You need to work you need <laughs> to he missed the uh a first attack and you need to roll a uh intelligence save, a DC twelve. DC twelve, okay. Um, so I definitely beat it, but let me get you the exact number. Mm-hmm. An intelligent saving throw. So that's a uh, 19. Okay. Nothing happens. Um, Chris, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to move your screen. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> is, oh, fuck. I'm trying to see distance. If I'm. It, I'm not moving yet. If I would be here, would I be able to hit both pink yes. and green? Okay. Yes. So first, I'm going to run up to pink and use the advantage from Raven to punch at it with my gauntlet. Okay. For a dirty 20. Wow. It takes uh, 10 points of thunder damage. Wow. And then I'm going to run... Try and shimmy around it, get in between these two, and then turn with my second attack, punch green for just a regular attack. Um, he's going to attack you with a, um, as you do that, because it's sort of like Ooh. you're disengaging uh, the pink one. Well, I'm still, I'm still engaged. Oh, you're with still engaged. Just, yeah. Okay. But you're just dancing around him. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm dead saying if I'm within, Five yeah, feet of both of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I can hit them both. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that'd be a 25 to hit on green for eight thunder damage. Eight thunder damage on green. So I do. And that's it. Okay. Um, all right. You're now in the thick of it because now green, red, and yellow all get to go. And okay. green and pink have disadvantage against attacks against me. All right. So green is going to disadvantage multi-attack you. So first his claws. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a 23. Hits. Disadvantage, so he gets a 17. Okay. That hit? No, no. Douchebag. It's a 20. Um, and the pink... Uh, gets a 19. Wow, these are such good rolls. Wait, I thought oh. Pink already attacked me. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a 19 on... Oh, no, so he's got... It, yeah, uh, it's red or yellow. Devour, Devour Intellect is the green. Okay. 
he gets a multi attack. Uh, so that was the that was the clause on disadvantage. Now he gets a devour intellect. You have to do okay. DC twelve saving throw. Int saving throw. Yeah. So it's a nine plus eight seventeen. Wow. Okay, we're chiseling you down. Um, let's see now red red is going to come over to you and he gets no disadvantage yep regular attacks uh, regular attack where is the regular attack nice one 18 does not hit you nope uh and then you get a dc 12 okay oh i'm going to use my reaction since i haven't used it yet to give my, myself where is it my flash of genius, I get plus five to my roll. So that's a 14. That um, that passes. Okay. Um, and yellow is going to run over its sprout. Actually, he would go to you. Um, no, he would go to Sprock if, if he's being controlled. He would go to Sprock. Sprock, yeah. uh, this guy is going to multi-attack you with a claw attack of a, of course, Fucking natural one. Ah! So does a first off a five does not hit you, um, but he stutters and falls over, um, and he's going to do his second attack at a DC of a ten on your intelligence save. I'm going to subtract some of it because of his roll. So give me a DC intelligence saving throw. It's got to be above a ten. It was a fifteen that turns into a twenty. Okay, so nothing happens. Um, those and now it's Jake. It's your turn. Uh, I'm going to. What can I hit these fucking things with? Do I still have my wand to wander? I do, right? You didn't take it away. Uh, mm -hmm. not yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound very great. I'm just gonna this orange one that's right in front of me. Which one is that? Um, yellow. That's uh, ID four. All right. Well, I'm gonna long sword attack it. Nineteen. That hits. Twenty. Yeah, that hits. And it takes four slashing damage. Okay. Not great. Um, Aaron, it's your turn. Hello. Um, okay. Hello. So Hold on a second, pop back over to the actual game. Uh, okay. So the Spencer's screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to move Spencer's screen, you know, whatever. I um, do that every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking, it's crazy. Um, all right, so, I mean, fucking, my man's in the way right now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm going to do what I was going to do the first time. I'm going to uh, pull out my bow and shoot over Sprock's shoulder because it doesn't look like I can really get around him. Um, yeah. Okay. What, which one to yellow? Uh, the yellow one or gold or orange or whatever that shit is. Uh, 28. Do I have advantage on that? Yeah, that hits. Do I have advantage you, on that? You, yeah. you have sneak attack. Oh, because, because he's right next to him, isn't he? Yeah, he's right next to him. You don't need advantage. Nice. All right. Uh, so eight damage, and then, um, I'm going to sneak attack him. 11. Ah, that was, those are terrible rolls. So he takes uh, 19 total. Uh, what, yellow? Yeah. Describe your kill. 
Nice. I, pull, I lean over Sprock's shoulder with the bow and I just let one loose and um, smacks into the brain creature. And you just see it like clink onto the ground with it's like, what is it? The cerebral cortex <laughs> just in the middle of a floor. Blah. Um, and then I'm going to, I mean, can I, can I like squeeze past Brock? In this uh, yeah, place? certainly. All right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sweep around. Oh my God. This fucking thing is so crazy. I'm going to sweep around Sprock. Okay. Um, all right. Daxon is going to go. Is there, is there a gate also on this side or, or no, that's open. supposed to be just going straight. This is just open. Yeah, but it's it's uh it's just a yeah it's it's, it's a gate. There's just no there's no where to go. There. There's just no gate there. Yeah, got it. Okay, cool. Um, Dax is gonna go. He's gonna say shit. I just triggered something. Um, and he's gonna walk, sort of past Sprock and you. Mm -hmm. and uh -huh. Sprock is dead now. <laughs> Um, I threw a wall and fell 50 stories. Where did this brain come from? This just appeared. Um, that brain. Oh, yeah. This is one of the ones I was trying to get out. All right. And Daxon is going to attack uh, your your green friend uh, for an attack of... Uh, and he's going to say, guys, listen. I love your company. Multi-attack. Uh, with daggers. <laughs> um, a 13. 13 does hit, I believe. Um, yes, it does. And that's green guy. You know, he's going to do both the attacks. That one misses with an 11. Um, so we got one attack. What is this? Plus, plus uh, 1d6 plus 3. Ooh, wow. Maximum damage. You like that shit. Uh, and that's a, this guy's in there. Okay. Um, so green takes a big hit. It's now ID1, pink, baby. That was done. Um, come at me, bro. Pink is going to. Um, if I was the brain hive now, he's going. He to does attack. have disadvantage against me. <laughs> he's going to attack you. Um, for two. Two attacks. Uh, hold on, that's 17 plus. Oh, this one might hit. Wait, the, was that his disadvantage attack? Fuck. Okay. So that was fine. You still get hit. That was a 21. Yeah. And a 19. Misses. So a 21 hits. Oh, it's a disadvantage, though. Yeah. The so 20, oh, a 19. A 19 total? Yeah. yeah. Oh. The 20, mm. 19. Um, you now have to do a DC 12 until I make second throw. Seven plus eight is a 15. Wow. Okay. That plus eight is nice. Yeah. It's now a uh, red guy's turn, and he's going to attack Daxon. Um, Daxon. Did you skip me? Uh, you are. I thought I went before those guys. Oh no! You you know what? You're right. You go right after Pink. It's your turn. So I'm gonna punch Pink. <laughs> Poor guy. Or a seven place F15 to hit. It's a twelve to hit, but yeah. That uh, for twelve thunder. Yep. Still up. Describe your kill. Oh, I'm just gonna punch right into the skull and it's gonna look like an extra glove, but it's an actual fist. <laughs> it's my hand. It's still on my hand, so I'm gonna with the with the intellect devourer on my fist. I'm gonna turn and punch green with the brain on my fist for my second attack. Okay. 
for a uh, 21 to hit, that does six thunder damage. I rolled a one on damage. Describe your second kill. I'm going to punch through the first brain, and it's going to slide up my arm. And the second one is going to be stuck on my fist. That's hilarious. (laughs) Um, And that's my turn. Red brain D3 uh, is going to attack Daxon. Um, Now everyone knows that Daxon is the weak link of the group. Um, For um, an attack of, ooh, natural 20. But that is for an attack of, so 24, that hits Daxon. Daxon is going to take 2d4 plus 2. Guys, he might be dead. Uh, that's 4, 7 plus 2, 9. Daxon, not looking good, guys. Daxon's not looking good. And he's got to do some uh, saving throw. Uh, who's going to volunteer for Daxon? Anyone going once, going twice? Jay. Go. Um, Jay, give me a intelligence saving throw of a plus zero for Daxon. Seven. Oh no! Oh no! You got a seven? Yeah. Okay. Let me read you some shit. Not great. The intellect devourer targets one creature it can see within ten feet of it. Uh, that has a brain. The target must succeed a DC 12 saving throw against the, this magic or take 11 2d10 psychic damage, which he will. Also, on a failure, roll 3d6. If the total equals or exceeds the target's intelligence saving throw, that score is reduced to zero. The target is stunned until it regains at least one intelligence saving throw. Guys, I think he might be dead. He's only got two life left. 2d10. Sorry, Daxon. You're dead. Daxon's head explodes. You see this brain run over to Daxon, one of your crew members, um, and it tries to shove its brain into this guy's nostril. It's such a force that its head explodes all over the floor. Daxon falls to the ground. R.I.P. Daxon. Wow. R. I. <laughs> you can R. I. P. You guys need to figure out a new crew member. Uh, that is, wow. I, guys, I feel pretty good about this. Killing my own NPC. It's great. Um, okay, it is now um, Jake's turn. Are you going to seek revenge? I, I, this red brain's still here, right? Yeah. I'm lawn bowing. Uh, long, yeah, I'm short going then. Oh, 23. I believe that hits. That hits. Fuck. Three damage. Wow. That sucked. Yeah, that did suck. <laughs> uh, Aaron, this is your turn. Are you angry because your crew member just died? Yeah, uh, that sucked. Remember, now it's going to be harder to drive your ship away from the Kraken. Yeah, this is not good. Um, well, I guess I'm just gonna fucking draw my sword and hit this guy in the face. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, run up with my short sword of life stealing and aim for this red brain. Um, this little bitch. Uh, I'm okay with that. 18. 18? Yeah. That hits. Eight damage. Um, how close to see this stuff? Eight damage. Um, that's your turn? Uh, yeah. Chris, your turn. Lone Star sees a brain kill another one of his friends trying to get into his head. He's going to... Hold on, let me get to the other screen. He's going to start seeing red. He's going to turn to his red brain and yell at it. Tell your master 
I'm coming. Mm-hmm. Is gonna run up to it, and right when he gets right up next to it, he's gonna cast Thunder Wave. So it does not hit Aranus. And just obliterate this brain. He needs to make a con save. Um, okay. Good thing. DC 16. Um, natural one. This thing... He, yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you just see the two brains on my arm go flying off as I go to start punching this brain, and then that's when the shock wave goes. The thunder wave goes. How much damage is it? It does 8 plus uh, 10 thunder damage. Wow. And it gets thrown 10 feet. Um, if it gets thrown against a wall, it takes damage. Describe your kill. You see all the two brains come flying off my arm, compress into a little blob, and then you see this brain go exploding against the wall. Nice. This mass is com- like a, a detonation. It's like a compression of all three of them. And then, um, everyone is enraged. Uh, everyone's angry. Daxon just died. Poor dude. But also, R.I.P. Daxon. You know, NPCs are supposed to die. Um, now, your blood is boiling. Uh, everyone, give me a group perception check. About about the room. Sixteen. Twenty-four. I fucking hate Jake. Jake's like wait, what was I rolling? I'm sorry. Forty fifty. Perception. <laughs> Forty fifty. Oh, listen, I see oh, everything. everything. <laughs> I see through to the next dungeon. It's like if you if if Aaron and Chris were to get threes and Jake were to get were to roll his, you'd still like average eleven. Yeah. Um the ten. Okay. Well, so I rolled two, room, but I got I have ten. You guys look around this room. Um, it is covered. It the, the walls are made out of that same uh those same gates, those same magical gates. Uh there are there are four boxes in this room. Um, and there's a desk, and on the desk are bottles, and in the bottle, um, they are shaped, the bottles are shaped, um, Jake, you got a 20 what? Four. Uh, you can tell that the bottles are shaped exactly like potion bottles. With liquid, with different liquids. There are three different kinds of liquids on the table. Um, One is black, or not black, but like a dark liquid. Um, Another one is a pink, and another one is a blue. Black, pink, and blue? Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's grab them up and check these boxes. Lone Saur start breaking up these boxes, trying to find shit in it. Still uh, in rage, uh, mumbling uh, about trouble. Lead, when, uh, and I'll just go to another crate and I'll just start bashing it in. You just hear Lone Saur mumble, fucking trouble, fucking Daxon. Um, you break open one of the, which box? I uh, guess you break open one of the boxes. Uh, and there is another brain inside of it. This one's caged. It is green. It is not moving. It is a intellect devourer. It has a brand on it similar to the one that you saw at the very beginning. It's in a cage, you said? Yeah, and it's not moving. Far you, you can tell that it's just non-responsive, non-moving. You broke open this box. Inside this box is a cage. In that cage is, is a intellect devourer that is green. It has a brand on it. Okay. I'm going to uh, punch, or is the cage locked? Yep. I'm going to break that cage open and try and kill this intellect devourer. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, intellect devourer is going to go six. You have to break the cage. Okay. Unless you want to try to poke it. Actually, it, it doesn't look alive. No. Here. So I'm going to poke my hand through it and say, feast, my friend. It needs to make a constitution saving throw. Who has got to make a constitution? The, 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 the intellect, the green intellect of our. Uh, let me find the number for you. It's a DC 18. He gets a natty one. All right. So he goes into my necklace. And I'm going to tell the uh, telepathically the, the purple worm beast. Uh, roll a DC six or DC. Well, we'll get back to him. Um, Aaron, give me a uh, inspection uh, investigation. I will investigate this. 23. Um, you are familiar with uh, your the, the symbols on these potion bottles that you are looking at. Uh, there are three of them. There's a black, there's a pink, there's a blue, there's a dead um, intellect devourer that just got absorbed into a necklace that actually is holding on to a purple worm for whatever reason. And uh, you, on the black potion, you recognize a symbol that is the symbol for time, which is the exact symbol that um, was on your... My hammer? Your hammer, as well as the symbol that's on the piece of paper that you, the burnt, the half burnt spell of time that you, you picked up from. Uh, oh, okay. Um, so I take that potion and I took it away. So I have a time potion. Uh, something like that. All right. Well, um, you also see a pack. I mean, what are the other potions? Cause I'm, I'm gonna take all of the potions. Right. Well, there's there there are three potions on the table. Okay. Um, there's also a uh, pink and blue, but you don't know. I don't recognize the symbols. No. All right. They all have stoppers. Um. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna tuck them away. Okay. Um. Hold on. I guess can you just send me all three individually or yeah, yeah, well you're gonna roll for you're gonna roll for it. Um, okay, cool. cool you cool. have to you, you're gonna have to drink them first. So uh, yeah. or get someone else to drink them. That's fine. So uh, just write pink and blue random potion and time potion in your in your or time symbol potion doesn't mean necessarily that it's time symbol. Right. And now let me see if this guy can reach you with his mind here. Hold on. What guy? Gladio. Um, okay. Um, you are looking around the room, you see two other crates. Um, so I'm going to go over to the other crate and start bashing it. Inside of that crate is a green, uh, Intellect devour is not moving. It's almost as if it's not, it's unconscious. Um, as you break this thing open, it doesn't move one bit, but your fury and anger, you're allowed to rip off the wood. And inside this thing um, is a cage with a crate on it. Um, intellect devour in it. So I'm gonna look over to uh, Lone Star and be like, I hope he's still hungry. And then I'm gonna walk over to the other crate. Um, go ahead. And then are, are, we're not in initiative anymore, right? No. Yeah. So same, same thing happens. Um, you break open this crate. There is an intellect devourer that's not moving. 
it's it's clearly different from the other intellective hours. It has been branded with some sort of insignia with the circle behind the circle. Um, it's not moving. Um, I'm gonna lower. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna pull out um, a dagger and I'm gonna like lightly jab the the uh, devourer. Uh, it doesn't move. I'm gonna think at it. Why did they brand you? <laughs> that you're gonna think at it? Yeah, I'm like I'm projecting thoughts at it. Um, nothing, nothing happens. Lone, Lone Star will see Aaron is focusing with his hand on his head home and I'll say, hold on, let me try this. And he'll telepathically try and ask the, the one in front of Aaron is, why did they brand you? So you're going to try to telepathically communicate, communicate to, yeah. to this. Um, okay, give me a, I guess a wisdom Is that for me? Uh, that'll be Chris. He's going to try to communicate with this guy using his tele telepathy. It's got to be your, what'd you get? It's got to be a wisdom saving. Uh, would it be intelligence? Yeah, I think it's wisdom. So I need, sorry, you broke up there. I need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Actually, I think it's going to be more of a charisma. You're going to try to communicate to this brain. Let's do intelligence. An intelligence saving throw. Yeah. All right. Not as intelligent, like, uh, yeah, you're going to try to arcana it. Arcana? Okay. I guess. That was a 12 plus. You're going to use your telepathy to try to communicate to it. I think that's Arcana. Uh, sorry, I closed it. Um, Arcana is plus eight. It's still, it's a dirty 20. All right. You, you communicate with it. And all you hear is, um, please unshackle me. Get me out of here. They're killing us all. You hear that in common. And it's like a, de a de desperate, desperate. You see a look of confusion on Lodzar's face. And he'll tell everyone what he heard. Yeah, what'd you hear? It says they're killing them all. It's asking for help. Oh. Ask it. Fuck who these is, things. Who is they? Who is they? Who is they and who are they killing? <laughs> well, I assume them, but who is they? I'm, Lone Star is going to walk over to the first one, Aranus, Um, Opened up. That first crate is going to touch yeah. that one and try and put him in his necklace again. Okay. And so that needs to roll a DC 18 con save. Oh, 20, but it was 19. It was a plus one. Though. So that one doesn't go. He's long well, um, looks pissed. You hear, you hear in your head, you hear, um, these are just minions. Get me out of here. Return me to my people. They're killing us all. I'll ask him, who are your people? Who are you? Um, he says, it's hard to describe without seeing you. Come find me. Drink the, drink the black potion. Oh, my God. You're going to be drinking fucking random potions now? I'll, uh, I'll relay that information to the group. I'm not drinking any fucking potions after that desert. 
It's too bad that da Daxon died. <laughs> yeah, too bad. You know he would have fucking drank that shit. You know we would have convinced him to drink that shit. He says, he says, I'm does does Duzos, the speaker of the Alpha Elder Brain from the Alpha Colony on the moon. Come find me, get me out of here. They're killing us all. Yeah, I'm still not dreaming. Lone Star snaps back into his normal hatred look. It's like, there's another fucking elder brain. More mm -hmm. shit to kill. I'm just gonna, gonna walk up. I'm just gonna, gonna get up. My... <laughs> I'm just getting out of the way. Yeah, yeah, sorry. He walks up to this one <laughs> and he says, Well, whatever your name is, Drew or whatever, say hello to Beatrice. I'll put my hand through, touch the brain, and another constitution saving throw. Uh that one fails. So that one pops into my necklace. Give me Peace, um, my friend. So there's two. There's two in there. We'll do the we'll do the two intellects later that are in there. Okay. Okay. Um, there's one intellect uh, green in there. Let no. Uh, you fed two and you killed one, right? Or did you? No, we had two are in the thing, and the third the third one got a twenty or got a dirty twenty to succeed. I'll turn uh, to Aranus. That one is yours. Oh, Very you nice. all hear a voice in your head. Um, Lone Star, you recognize it from your friend from before, and he says, "I don't. While well, I don't even acknowledge, I don't care that the voice is happening. Once Lone Star says this one is yours, I walk over with my sword and I stab it through the bars. It has no effect on the voice. Okay, um, that." Uh, he go ahead and give me a uh, an attack roll on that. Uh, that's thirteen. Uh, sorry, that's uh, last deal plus nine. Uh, twenty-two. Uh, that hits nine damage. Uh, that intellect devourer is about to die. Um, you guys hear this weird conversation, you hear a conversation between a elder brain that, that you heard before, the deep, dark bass, and some other creature. And the dark bass says, we will devour you all. We will absorb you all. Where is the key ship? And then you hear the voice that was speaking to you from the green uh, intellect of ours scream. And everyone give me a perception check. Um, what I say, key ship? Where's the key ship? Yeah, make something up about that. Um, uh, you guys hear uh, doors open. You hear rumbling from further down into the dungeon, uh, back from where you came. The what? Uh, there's noises echoing from and wind blow, uh, blowing from behind you from where you guys came from. So stuff from coming from behind. Praise. Mm -hmm. We're still in initiative, right? No, there's no initiative. You guys are just slaughtering slaves in, in <laughs> that have been capped. <laughs> We got to find a way out, guys, or we got to keep going because there's shit coming. 
I'm, yeah. I'm going to look in this corner and see if there's anything else that I can find or see with my excellent perception. Uh, roll me a perception. Investigation. Fuck, seven. Um, you see that uh, the bottles were placed in order. Um, there is a insignia down there and you, you notice this that it's a uh, their numbers one, two, three. Maybe you drink one and then the other and then the other. After you, Mr. Wonder. I am not drinking. Wait, there are more potions? No, just no, the, the black, the blue. Can we just pink. take them? Are they... I told you, I already took those. Are they capped? Yeah. Yeah. And, and Aaron took them? Yeah. So, so there's nothing left on the table? No, there was a number order of one, two, and three. Uh, on the table. table. Um, but you're smart and you rolled and you know that, um, there are sounds coming from behind you from where you came. On the side road to remind the group that there were two other paths. Oh, back in the area we if came we can, from. If yeah. we can go back. So let's go back the way that, um, isn't there a gate that's locking off the way that Lone Yeah, Star let's go back the way that we came. That, that gate. Because no, the Lone Star would tell you that gate opened up. Oh, okay. So then let's oh. go back that way because it doesn't have pressure traps, right? Oh, true. Except for the one that dropped well, the gate initially. None that aren't triggered. Not that you've triggered. Yeah. Um, let's, let's take the poison let's... that we know. Huh? I said, let's take, let's do the thing that we know, right? Like, we know where all the traps are down our lane, and Lone Star can fly. So, like, Lone Star cannot fly. Oh, no, yeah, he cut his wings off. No, um, follow me. I, I walked this whole way back. Yeah, right, so we'll just follow Lone Star. Because we, we have to turn into a fucking cloud and shit. We don't right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll let you guys get back there. That's fine. All right. So, we're in there. Y'all are I'm gonna go. Let's. I'm gonna say let's go down to this path to the right. All right. All right. Let's go. And all of a sudden, Drake shows up. Just kidding. Um. Well, hold on. Since we're here, let's go get uh Flaxen. Flaxen, <laughs> or whatever the other one's name was. Uh, roll me a uh, so you guys are going to go to the ship and you're going to say hey Everett do you mind go, go tell me what you want to do this is your game no no, no. I was just no. fucking with everyone no we're not going back to the ship no no we're not let's just keep going okay. uh, who's going down <laughs> first uh, star. yeah okay no, and let's... he's going to be looking for traps this time give me a uh, perception check Perception, okay. Watch you still walk straight into a fucking trap. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised. Or like 20. Hold on, I'm driving. I got to get to a stop. So, um, roads. The D20. What number are you? That's a 13. Uh, you don't see anything in front of you um, that looks like a trap. That's not okay. I'll, I'll just I'll keep going there and tell Aaron to keep uh, Robin up in front of me to help me help me see some shit. Yes, uh, I'll tell Robin to to once again stick over uh, Lone Star's. You know, give me okay. his third, third camera. Uh, so Robin is going to fly. What am I getting this right? Robin's going to fly ahead of Lone Star. How much movement does? No, Robin? behind. He's behind. going to be my third person camera. Yeah, okay. he's literally just like hovering up and above him. Okay. Like back this way. Um think link. Okay. And Robin randomly just yells, hey. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, so yeah, and we're fo I'm following behind Robin. Everyone's moving. Yeah. You guys can. Oh okay. shit! Sorry, I fucking ah, it's fucking screen man. Oh, nice. The game stopped lagging. There is nothing. The this in terms Oops, of the other uh, in comparison to the other um, hallways, this one seems mute and quiet. Okay. So yeah, I mean, Lone Star leading the way, so we're going. All right. Lone Star, you're trudging through. Thank you. Gets to the other end. Um, there should have been another fucking. I don't know what happens. But shit, hold on one second. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oops. And don't, don't freeze. Don't freeze. Don't freeze. Um, you guys get to the another room where there is another. Uh, Shit, what am I doing here? There's another um another chest. Can't can't hear you, Chris. Yeah, you're breaking out crazy. Oh no, he's caught in the time war. Yeah, better drink <laughs> potion. He drank a potion and oh my god. What are the potions? Now he's speeding up. What's happening? Okay, let me swap. Um <laughs> You guys get to this uh, corner, um, similar to the other corner, and there's a chest. Uh, so I'll use um, Mage Hand. I'll give him my Thieves tools again and send him to unlock it. Um, this time, when you do that, it's a mimic. Oh, fuck. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, well, I mean it's better than one of one of you going to fucking open it. Everyone, give me a you know initiative. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Chris says, "Let me in the Zoom. Let the right one in the room." Oh. Uh, the mimic is going to go first, and, and he's going to attack. I guess uh, Lone Star, since he's the one, the leader, with a surprise. Um, oh. And that attack is going to be a melee attack with its tongue sort of. He misses with an eighteen. Um, but go ahead and give me your uh, initiative now. Um, uh, 12. Oh. Aaron, this is a 12. Chris, what did you get? I got a nine. Chris got a nine. Uh, Jake? Was it initiative? Yeah. Twenty. Twenty-two. Maddie twenty. Wow. All right. Uh Jake, what do you want to do? What are you doing, Jake? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some reading. Hold on. Hold on. What appeared in front of us? A mimic. Oh, fucking mimics. Um, hmm. I am going to cast greater invisibility and turn invisible. Wow. <laughs> wow. How about that? How about that? Um, okay. 
I don't know. It's uh, Aaron's turn. Um, I am going yeah, to. Heard. I'm gonna tell um Robin, uh, at his next available chance to use its flyby ability to distract the um mimic. And this then he's like looking at Robin like mm, I'm gonna eat that shit. I bet. <laughs> um and then I'm going to um uh so yeah I guess I'm mm, oh. I guess I'll cast Booming Blade on it. Okay. I mean, I'll cast Booming Blade on my on my sword. Um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna cast Booming Blade on my sword, and then um, pop forward and smack this dude in the mouth. Why? Why? Why not? So 21. Um that hits. Um okay, so on the hit. Uh blah 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 blah. Okay. All right, on the hit, the target suffers the weapon's normal effects and then becomes sheathed in booming energy. So let me do the damage first. Uh, sorry, one sec. Uh, seven damage from the sword attack. Okay. And then um, the target takes 1d8 thunder damage. Uh, two, so he takes two more damage. Okay. Um, and then he is sheathed in. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh yeah, it's uh, sheathed in booming energy until the start of my next turn. What does that mean? Um, and if the target willingly moves five feet or more before, then the target takes one d eight. Uh, thunder damage and the spell ends. Okay. How close are you to it? Um, well, so I'm you right have next to, be to right it. Next to it yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, I'm going to um, use uh, my uh, disengage, um, my cunning action to disengage, and I'm going to fall back and uh, to the back to where I was in the corner of the room. Okay. Um, oh, uh, because he was close, he was um, within five feet of, like he did melee damage to um, Lone Star, right? Yeah, or tried to. Yeah, so my uh, sword attack would have dealt sneak attack damage. Okay. Yeah, he, he tried to. He didn't administer any damage. He tried to. So I would be within five feet of the mimic. Yeah. So box shaking before we opened it. No, I changed it. Okay. He, gets, so uh, he takes fifteen damage. Uh, damn. Okay. Um, are we going on beyond this room, or are we ending it here? Um. I think we'll go just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to go move my car and I'll be back in. Okay, 10. I'm going to shoot this thing with just, your arrows. I'm invisible anyway, but I can still okay. like, uh, like I think use my like basic weapons maybe. Yeah, I got you. So um, Chris, it's your I turn. Shoot my short bow a little. You got it. So okay. I'm going to do my one two punch on him. Okay. Dab in the cross. The jab is a hold on, turn my light on. Oh, that was a natural twenty. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Damn, uh, natural twenty while driving. 
Yeah. On my dashboard. <laughs> With a cop that just passed me. That's hilarious. That's uh, so eight plus. Oh, that was max. Fuck. Eight. Oh, my God. That's a 20 thunder damage on the Jeez. first. This thing bre starts breaking apart a little bit. Uh, each piece of uh, wood that comes off of this chest uh, turns into this uh, piece of like purplish, purplish meat. What about and yourself? I'm going to, um, oh, fine. I got a red light. Sweet. I'm going to use my second attack just to punch him again. Let me actually stop here before rolling. Oh, okay. oh shit. Uh, an 11. I assume that misses. Uh, yeah, that misses. So I'm so thrilled that I got this thing right in the right in the lid that I completely just whiff on the second. Try and hit that same spot and it's already gone. Uh, Chris, Mimic is going to attack you with a uh, bite. Okay. Damn, 11. These bad guys are not attacking very well. Um, and really that's it. Nothing happens. Uh, Jake's turn. Jake is going to attack with his Longbow. Let me just click on his longbow attack. Um, or no, shortbow attack. He gets a... He attacks with a 15. It hits. Um, that deals... Wow. Eight damage. Another big chunk falls off this guy. Um, does he get to do anything else? Does he get a bonus action? No, I don't want to use any of his shit. Aaron, it's your turn. Your thing is mute. All right. This uh this fucker's still alive, huh? Yes. Um I'm gonna hmm. Oh, I guess he doesn't have the booming blade thing on him around him anymore, huh? All right, I am going to hmm. maybe do the same thing. Why not? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop in, hit him with the sword. Oop. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hop in, hit him with my sword. Okay. Um, dirty twenty. Damn. Okay, that hits. Uh, nine damage, and I'm gonna hit him with my sneak. Describe attack. your kill. Oh, nice. Um, I rush forward, and while he's distracted, ooh, 24 damage on that sneak attack. Um, <laughs> uh, and he's like snapping back from Lone Star, and before he can get uh the the top closed, I cut through and cut off the top of the chest, his head, chop him in half. Um, out of this, out of this uh, creature falls um, a uh, a uh, like a little trinket, a little necklace. Um, give me, or you hear a ping pang. Um, give me an investigation check, uh, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Notice it. Uh, no one else would, would hear it because you you uh I was next to it delivered it its final blow. Um so 50 uh, 23. Um you there's a little necklace, a little piece of jewelry. Um it is the symbol of the uh circle behind the circle. circle. Similar to the brands, similar to the brands. Okay. Um, you are smart enough to uh put together that perhaps uh after looking at the floor around you and the blood that someone has been feeding this thing something um and perhaps that necklace that you took off the tooth of the mimic was uh from an, a different person something or or being humanoid um that was being that the mimic was you know chewing on 
Remnants from another body. Okay. Uh, free roam. Question. Um, We've so only two different symbols, correct? There are only two different symbols. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought, just making sure. So I, I turn around and I show everyone the necklace. And then I put it in my pocket. Lone Star will turn to the group. Based on what that other one was telling me, this looks like the two different clans, like the view from the moon and the view from here. Moon in the background. Two warring elder brains. We need to use that to our advantage. Wow. Oh, that makes sense. We can potentially get the... That is a huge leap of faith by Chris. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so let's uh, let's go deeper into into this place. So, is there anywhere beyond this? Oh yeah, uh, Lone Star, are you trudging forward? Oh yeah. All right, Lone Star trudges forward down the hallway. Yeah, um, Raven's behind him, following him with the lantern, so he can see. And I'm right behind uh, Raven. Lone Star, give me a advantage. Um, you are looking. Uh, give me advantage investigation. One second, just got home. Light. First one was that. Second one is. Oh. Um, advantage. What'd you say? Perception? Yeah. Best. So it's 14 perception. Uh, you see that there is a something off about the floor around and right in front of you. I'll uh, telepathically tell Aranus, "Hey, there's a, a trap here. You want to try and disable it or take or hop over?" I'm gonna kneel down and take a closer look. Um, Aranus, give me a investigation. Mm -hmm. Plus eight. 24. You see that it is a pressure plate. There is a little mechanism uh, and a little gap. Um, there's a gap in the floor that you could, with a 24, that you could possibly use your handling to maybe wedge something. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna signal down to uh, Lone Star. I'm like, let's say we can wedge something here to keep the plate in position, but we probably still don't want to put too much weight on it after we do. Sprite like say, guys, I have a great idea. Use my arrow. I'll be like, hold on, hold on, Sprite. It's a great idea, but maybe this will work. And I'll reach into to the bag I'm holding and Aaron roll a d20. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Eight. Better. Oh. Best magic item ever. I hand Aaron a red rose. <laughs> a what? A oh, red rose. <laughs> I'm just going to look. I'm like, thanks. I, I, I can't use this. I'm, I'm going to tuck it behind my ear. And then he'll he'll give it a wink and say, yeah, let's use that arrow. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take Sprock's arrow and wedge it into the platform um, until it feels like really sturdy. And then I'm going to place my hands onto the edge and slightly ease weight onto it to see if it reacts. Sleight of hand. Uh, 12 plus 13, oh, 25. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sleight of hand is only five, uh, 17. That's good enough. Okay. So sorry, you, lift it, is you crazy. lift it up and you, what do you do? Um, Jam it. Yeah, I just make sure that, yeah, it's... Uh, now, 
are you going to test your skills and step on the plate? I'm going to put my weight on it with my hands before trying to step on it to see if the wedge holds. I just wanted to see how brave you thought you were. It's it's holding. It's fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to look at the rest and I'm going to be like, all right, wish me luck. And then I'm going to um, very stealthily and quickly like glide across. Just like. Uh, did you guys kill the mimic? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm no longer invisible. All right, Aaron, your character died. Um, oh, mark off one arrow. <laughs> uh, so I go across. Um, and then I'm going to look back and I'm going to tell them, I'm going to be like, be careful. Don't put too much weight on it. Oh. Um, you, <sighs> you successfully deformed. You just like hit your knee? Uh, I just failed dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I walked into a cinder block. Ooh, nice. Yep. Oh, that's gonna be a nice bruise tomorrow. <sighs> so where do we walk into? Um, a similar room from before. Um, you guys can, with your normal perceptions, you're fine. You see a three crates um, and a table in front of you. And the bird, is the bird with you? Is the bird in you? I guess the bird's just chilling there. He's just chilling out. He's hanging out with us. The bird um, is. Give me a perception check, uh, Chris. Okay, one second. <laughs> Perception check. That's a 19. You see uh, three more bottles on this table in there. It's the same exact room, uh, same exact layout as the one before. Um, you see a uh, marking on the table that says one, two, three. And there is a black, a blue, and a pink potion corked in the bottle. And on that uh, black bottle, there is a logo that looks like the same uh, symbol. No, it's, it's not a logo. It's a symbol that looks like the same signal that you've been seeing uh, around this time sort of uh, these time spells, time uh, the same logo that they transported. Uh, that Plaskin transported through the time portal. That that temp that logo that he put um, on the wall to try to transport the symbol that you picked up in, I think, I think it was, I don't know wh where you picked up the, the, the symbol to like put in the wall to transport Plaskin from where he was into the future. Um, but that's the same symbol. And there's a one, two, three on it. Okay. There's also a, uh, you also see that there's another hallway um, that leads, um, you know, in the other direction. I'm going to call Aranus over and say, uh, do these look like the other ones? Um, so I'm going to look at the jars. I'm going to pull out the jars from my pocket and hold them in my hands out in comparison. Oh, shoot. We brought more jars? Exact same. Are they in the same? Um, I'm looking at the desk. Are they in the same spot, in the same numbered spots? Same colors and numbers? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Um, and what are the numbers and spot correlations? Uh, black, blue, pink. One, two, One, two three. three. Yeah. And that symbol that's on that desk, it's one of those two symbols that we've been seeing in here, right? Yeah, the black, the black has the symbol of time. Okay. Chris, you write that down, black, blue, pink. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to grab my notebook out of my bag. Oh, fuck that. And Sprock, give me a perception check. I spy with my perceptive eye. A plus eight and? 16. That's not that good in comparison to what you 24. usually do, you know? 
Um, you see that there are droplets of liquid on the ground near um, one of the near near a wall. And there's this this wall right here. Um, and there are there is a broken this wall over here. Yeah, this one right here. All right, I go down for a deeper look. I look, I look real close. I maybe like give it a little smell. Maybe I touch it. Smells it like it smells like uh, like a like ginger. Mm. All right. And you look at and and as you're looking at the at the at the ground, you see that there are those same sit, like pitter patter paths. Uh, footprints and sloppy movement going up to the, the wall and vanishing at the wall. All right. And the smell of ginger from droplets on the floor. Okay. I don't know what to do with that information. Sorry, guys. I got none. So there's still three crates in this room? Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to break a crate. Same. I'm going to go after the crate that's right next to me. Is everyone breaking a crate? Yes. Um, you all break a crate. Inside of it is a, again, a non-moving sort of slumped over green um, intellect devourer that is branded with the insignia of a, cir of a circle of the moon. Being. I'm going to take out the necklace and I'm going to look at Lone Star and I'm going to ask, I'm going to tell them like, hey, find out if they know who owns this. Okay, so, so these symbols. So this these do they look like it's the same symbol that the other ones had yeah and is that the same as on the necklace green and uh yes yes it is yeah okay so they're all the same okay okay so um i'll really uh, confirm that to aranus i'll be like just give me a moment and see if i can get some more information out of these before we kill them too hmm. i'll uh telepathically talk to uh, the one in my cage um fuck. you're gonna hear what are you gonna ask it i'm trying to think of that uh what should i ask it guys um well maybe what is this what is this war if we're gonna try to manipulate them right we should try to figure out the best way to play them against each other So I'll ask it, why are you in here? <clears throat> um, it is going to respond. <clears throat> it's going to say to you, in He's going to say, I am Thuz Duzos of the Alphal Elder Brain Colony on the moon. <laughs> Not all minds are food. That's why I'm here. Why are you here? That's what he said. Yeah. And he sounded sort of like very weak, very, you know, but humble, humble sounding. Um, and that was almost the exact same thing that the other one said, right? Uh, that, that is, yeah. from what you can tell, that's the same. That's the exact same. same thing. Yeah. I'll turn to the group. These guys are nothing. They're not going to be of help. 
I think the knowledge of the differences is enough. Like, okay. There's an elder brain colony on the moon, an alpha elder brain colony on the moon. That's where these guys are from, and they're slaves. Hmm. They can't help us. All right. Well, put them out of misery then, and then I'm going to walk <laughs> off towards, <laughs> towards what seems like an exit over here. Um, yeah. Roll me a con save, Spencer. Uh, failed. It's an eight. We got three in there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that in a minute. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um. Okay. As you guys uh leave are about to leave, everyone roll me initiative. This will be where we almost end. Uh, nine. Let me just go. A ten. Um, well, you all hear in your, in your brain, you hear this, um, I'm going to keep this. You got Jake with a 12, Aaron. Nine. With a nine, and Chris, ten. Nine, Chris with a ten, and I got to roll two of those. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> That's not good for you. Seventeen for the big boy, and then for his minions, uh, twelve. Ooh, Jake, roll off for the twelve. Come on, Jake. Mm. Do I get my adder again? No, just straight up roll. Okay. Jake goes first. Nine. But then the IDs go. All right. Um, as you guys are moving around, you hear this voice. Mm. Looks like you almost made it, but uh, weren't able to figure it out. Most uh, I saw you before. You seem too stupid to figure it out. Better drink that potion before it should last. And then all of a sudden, out of that corridor that you're looking for comes a blue mind flare. Give me a uh, perception check. Um, Aranus. Rock. <laughs> Ooh, uh, 26. You see that this uh mind flare is blue it is wearing some sort of cloak um it is on that cloak is a symbol of a circle and a circle and behind this mind flare are two intellect devourers and that is where we're gonna stop this is crosby crosby failed a deck save causing him to get smashed by a giant alchemist in the Shadowhide realm. Don't be a Crosby. Roll high and subscribe.